Well, the beauty industry is big business, of course. Globally, we fork out an estimated $382 billion every year on products, promising to nourish our skin and even turn back the clock. But there's a natural way to get glowing skin too, from eating the right food to getting the right amount of sleep and exercise. It's the choices that you make every single day that can transform your skin from the inside out. And our clinical nutritionist, Sarah DiLorenzo, joins us now. Good morning. morning, Sarah. So does this mean that we're wasting money on, on all the things that we put on? On our face. We have to remember that skin is the largest organ on the human body and to take care of it we need to be exercising, we need to be drinking water, we need to be eating a really healthy nutritious diet and we really need to be looking at getting some good sleep too to rejuvenate it. Okay and how do we do that through food? Okay so through basically including foods that are anti-inflammatory which is like the fish. We want to pick foods that are going to help with reducing wrinkles, they're going to give antioxidant support. We can support. see you creeping in. <laughs> what do you mean you can see? You're just coming over here well, to get the food look, right? it's a very <laughs> difficult thing to do to move past <laughs> the camera it's when you're not all that agile. It's because you saw the brownies, You've right? seen the brownies. I apologise. I don't Matt. mean morning. to derail you. I, and that I is feel, fine. I feel genuinely terrible. The problem is they said creep in under the camera. I, I'm, okay, I'm not all that Sarah's nimble. Time. Now Sarah, I'm trying carry to... Carry on. Okay, best foods for beautiful, healthy, glowing skin. As I've said, is things like broccoli, and then we've got resveratrol in the grapes, antioxidants in the chocolate, the vitamin C in the capsicum, and I put this to, all those ingredients together to make, make a beautiful salad there which is my Skin Smart salad. And I've done a brownie, which I've made, Matt, from avocado. Monique would love oh. this, as well as walnuts and dark chocolate. So they're my top tips for beautiful, healthy, glowing skin. That's all targeted. I'm more interested in the broccoli, thank you. Are you? <laughs> Are you <laughs> learnt well? I've taught you well. Did Denham Hitchcock bring that meat in, that slab of meat? Because that seems to be his modus operandi. <laughs> OK, so... Tell us about this podium. Okay, so this is all about psoriasis. So psoriasis is a skin condition. It's actually autoimmune condition. It's actually linked to di diseases such as cardiovascular and also inflammation in the gut. So what we want to do is work out how do we take care of our skin with psoriasis and it's really managing the triggers. So it's just all of those antioxidant-rich foods, like I've got the berries and the greens, bringing down inflammation with things like the oil, the ginger, as well as the fish, but also looking out for things that are triggers, such as the dairy, the red meat. They'll make lesions worse. The nightshades, the mat, that's another fact family of vegetables, they actually cause inflammation when digested and gluten. Anyone with an autoimmune disease should not have gluten yeah. whatsoever, in mm. my personal opinion. Now, eczema affects one in three kids yes. and it can also affect adults yeah. and food is very closely related. Absolutely, definitely. So what we eat will definitely trigger and make, make an eczema symptom profile picture uh, and make, make it worse. So what we want to do is avoid trigger foods which are actually linked to food intolerances such as things like eggs and nuts and dairy and, and bread as well. But it's including in our diet things that are going to support gut health, um, things like miso, that's great for kids, as well as the kimchi sauerkraut. Looking for a antioxidant called, a called quercetin, which is an anti-inflammatory found in things like apples, berries, as well as all the greens here. That's wonderful diet for people suffering with eczema. It's very debilitating eczema for children. Especially. Yeah, it is. It can yeah. be absolutely awful and very uncomfortable. Uh, just very quickly, the last podium. Acne. Acne, a teenager's biggest nightmare. It honestly is. And this is what is going to drive acne is obviously all the junk food that you see here on the right that's just going to raise the blood glucose and make the sebum production worse. But things like carrots are great. It's got the vitamin A, which is wonderful for, for skin healing. Uh, the pumpkin seeds are my favourite things for my acne patients because they've got zinc in them as well as all the... We need to really support our digestion for hormonal clearance and that can be seen in things like the grains. And of course, antioxidant support is really important. But in clinic, as soon as I change my acne patient's diet and it's just getting them off something as simple as gluten and dairy, you start to see changes straight away. Yeah. You're a nutritional encyclopedia, Thank Sarah. She is. Uh, and <laughs> Thank I'm, you, Sarah. I apologise if I in any way derailed or demeaned. Didn't she derail didn't me whatsoever. It takes a Not. lot more to do that. She's a single mum with three daughters. That's, that's, that's right. time. It takes a lot more to derail her. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah. Thank you.